taste of sour Joy nice and calm and wasted I wore or two We've got magic to do Just for you Welcome to Studio 10 Talk Good evening. I am Patrick Cassidy. I'm the artistic director for Studio 10 Talks, and it is such a pleasure to be here tonight. I wanted to tell you all, you know, we uh, we make um, we survive by theater, producing theater, and donations. And right now, we can't produce the theater. So look at the bottom of your screen at any time during tonight's show. Please donate. Press that button. It helps us be here tonight. Um, I also want to just do a, a special little. Um, take a moment and just this week we lost a, an, a, a great American. Uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg was a massive fan of the arts. She was a proponent of equality and diversity in the arts and in our country. And we miss her. We miss her. We miss her. So without further ado, I want to get to this show. We have an incredible show tonight. Our first guest is, um, well, Casey Hebel. Let me tell you about Casey Hebel. She is the education coordinator for Studio 10, professional musical theater performer for over 15 years, appearing in productions around the country at theaters as such as Flat Rock Playhouse in North Carolina, the Arts Center of Coastal Carolina, South Carolina, musicals tonight in New York City, not Carolina, <laughs> Transcendence Theater Company in California. She, her career with Studio 10 goes back to Hello, Dolly! and through Mamma Mia! She holds a BFA in musical theater from Belmont University, Master's of Arts in Teaching, also from, from Belmont. Please welcome Miss Casey Hebel. There she is. Hi, Casey. Hey. Okay. Welcome to the show. I only talk to you how many times a day? 20? Many. Yes, many. many. <laughs> <laughs> you are being kind. So, so good to see you. Where are you right now? Are you in one of those Carolinas? I am in one of those Carolinas. I am in the Southern Carolina, ah. um, visiting some family. It was my sister's birthday yesterday, so we happy, celebrated. Happy birthday to your sister. Yes. And uh, how long are you there for? Because as long as you're there, it means you're not working for us. Oh, that's not <laughs> true. Everyone works that. remotely these days, Patrick. <laughs> I know, that's true. I'm, like I said, I'm on the phone with you all the time. Um, <laughs> Well, first of all, I, I, I just want to tell you, you know, I, I've been working now with Casey, well, since I got here, and actually a lot during the COVID uh, time um, in that we have come up with a lot of stuff. We have, we have been fortunate uh, for our education program, and you have been instrumental in putting that forth. Um, and it started, as you know, with uh, we did this little musical theater contest, right? We did. You want to, why <laughs> Not you, a little. <laughs> why you, well, I know it was big, but why don't you explain what we did? Sure. Um, so we uh, we put out the word to the masses that we were accepting submissions of um, musical theater performances. Mm -hmm. And we told people to go all out. We said, you know, create costumes from what you have in your closet, turn your living room into Broadway, recruit the dog, recruit the dad. <laughs> recruit and they everyone. did. And they, and did. They, did. You they did. Didn't we even have one person that like did memory with their like Persian? Join us. For the we did have a cat appearance. We did that yeah. big old fluffy cat. It yeah, was amazing. Um, actually, it was all amazing. Every, yeah. every had, single we performance. Had, we had well over a hundred submissions, and and that contest, which was an incredible, incredible thing with the youth division, the teen division, and of course the family division garnered us to now to really elaborate and start our education program, which you are the head of. That's me. <laughs> and tell us about what we've been doing again during the COVID crisis with our education yeah. program. Yeah, we've, like you said, we've been really lucky. I mean, I feel like we have been able to make lemonade out of lemons for sure. Um, we had two virtual musical theater summer camps which were amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and we even, we because we were virtual, we were able to bring in these Broadway guest artists to do Q&As with our students. We, that, we wouldn't have been able to do that. Um, in right, right. My, friend from, my friend from uh, Book of Mormon on Broadway, Derek Williams came in and spoke to our- Yes, right? mm -hmm. yes. Um, and my friend from Newsies. Mm -hmm. And it was amazing. Yeah. Um, the kids ate it up, they loved it. Um, and then we also did a, um, 
a series called Musical Theater Masters mm -hmm. that just wrapped last month. Um, we had you taught a class. Mm -hmm. I taught a class. Mm -hmm. Your wonderful wife, Melissa, taught a class. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and we had an amazing guest artist again, Miss um, Sarah Crane from Mean Girls, the musical, who taught our students original choreography, wow. gave us music direction straight from the music director's mouth of the national tour. It was awesome. I mean. Well, you know, and you, everything that you're saying is is exactly where we're going with this. And one of the things that I am so excited about with you is that Studio 10 this whole concept of where we're gonna go with education, come the fall, come the, come the winter, and then in this next spring. And talk to us, tell, tell our the people that are seeing us um, what our plans are for that. Yeah, um, so we talk a lot about this, <laughs> obviously, all the time. All the time. Um, and I think one of the things that I really wanna stress just as far as where we're headed in education is that we're really training the next generation of professional musical theater artists. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are training the next, the next generation that people are gonna see on Studio 10 stages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so that's really our, gonna be our focus is this professional level training. Right. Um, we one have such the, a, oh, go, go ahead. I was saying one of the things that we talked about is that it is setting up a education program that not only trains the kids and I mean, there's great singers here in Nashville, as you know, and great actors and, and, but also giving them, which, which Melissa is going to give them is this dance set of, a set of skills that they don't offer here. It's right. not here. And Melissa who teaches at Nashville ballet and whatnot, but it's bringing that whole sort of triple threat idea to these students. And then, like you said, allows them to have a shot at getting in one of our professional equity shows, which is which is really a wonderful experience if these kids want to do that for a living, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. And we're we're really excited because our next set of classes takes off right at the beginning of October. It is our our pre-professional training program. Um, classes will meet three times a week one class in vocal performance, one class in dance, one class in acting. Like you said, we're really training triple threats here. You gotta be able to do it all these days That's and right. then some. <laughs> and you are, you are, you graduated from Belmont. You got, your, you, you got your BFA degree from there? I did, so I did. Then, so after you, after you did that, what did you do? Did you head to New York? I sure did. I uh, I packed up and moved to New York, um, and lived in a tiny studio apartment with my best friend. You and everybody else that lives like, in New York, <laughs> like everyone. I always joke our bathroom was so small that you had to like shimmy all the way in before you could get the door closed. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I remember that that <laughs> living too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I I lived in New York for a couple of years. I auditioned. I pounded the pavement. Um, I did the thing. <laughs> and did you, um, did you did you then go back and get a teaching degree? Did you have to get a teaching degree as well? Yeah. So that's I I came back to Nashville. I decided I sort of fell in love with education um, through my work with Transcendence theater company out in California. Mm -hmm. um, and I decided to come back to Nashville and get my master's in teaching. And it's been such a, Nashville is such an amazing arts community. We're mm -hmm. so lucky to be um, in Tennessee and in the greater Nashville area um, for, for all that it has to offer. But yeah. I think especially as artists, we're really lucky. Yeah, that's yeah. why, I mean, that's why I gravitated here. I was, I, I mean, unfortunately I, I came here in January and, right when, <laughs> you know, March was about to happen and I was going to direct a show and announce the season. This little <laughs> virus happened, but uh, we're going to get through that. You know, yeah. was, a big, big thing that happened. It was a big bright light on Broadway. I saw the huge marquee go up at the Winter Garden for Hugh Jackman, the music man, Sutton Foster. I was like, boom. There's the beginning. There's the beginning of New York slowly, slowly coming back. Yeah. Casey, you do remarkable work for us here at Studio 10. Thank you. We are lucky to have you. And I am lucky to, to talk to you every day. And I will <laughs> resume my 10 phone calls tomorrow. Okay. Uh, I'll be waiting. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for being here tonight on the show. Studio10.com education there at the bottom. And, and to, is there anything else that you want to um, say or, or, or about, the, about the program or anything else? We can't, wait to, we can't wait to see you in class. <laughs> exactly Come right. join us. We're having fun. Have fun uh, in South Carolina. Give my family, okay? Thank you. Thanks, Casey. Good to Bye. see you. Bye.
So that's us. That's us. That's Casey Hebel. And uh, and for those of you watching, get involved in this program. It is truly for the triple threat. And and if you want to go audition for NYU or Carnegie Mellon or Michigan, you have to have the skill set. And this skill set comes from Studio 10. I'm so happy to say. Okay. Speaking of triple threats. All right. Get ready for some. Uh, this This is going to take a moment because I have some unbelievable resumes that I want to read. Tony nomination for Best Actress in Marlowe. Drama Desk Award nomination for Outstanding Feature Actress in a Musical for her portrayal of Crystal Mason in the original Broadway cast of Platinum. National Tour of Gypsy with Angela Lansbury. Performed roles of Rizzo in Greece and Anita in West Side Story. Boy, does that have some history. Both at the Burt Reynolds Dinner, uh, Dinner Theater in Jupiter, I believe. She also created the role of Carmen Epstein on the television series, Welcome Back, Welcome Back, Cotter, in which she has a recurring role in a series regular on Doc, Viva Valdez, and guest starred on many, many shows, including Starsky and Hutch, executive choreography, uh, choreographer of the hit movie Sister Act, and associate choreographer on Broadway productions of The Who's Tommy, staging and choreo uh, choreographing for Liza Minnelli at Radio City, and co-director and choreographer for Earth, Wind & Fire's European Tour. That's one. Number two, this woman has received 10 Tony nominations, two Tonys, and, and 2018, the Special Tony Award for Lifetime Achievement in the Theater. Trained with Balanchine at the School of American Ballet. Most recent credits include The Visit, The Mystery of Edwin Drood, and The Dancer's Life. Past credits include West Side Story, Bye Bye Birdie, The Rink, Tony Award, Chicago, Jerry's Girls, Kiss of the Spider Woman, Tony Award, and the original Broadway cast of Guys and Dolls, Can Can, Seventh Heaven, and Mr. Wonderful. She received the Presidential Medal of Honor from Barack Obama in 2009, awarded the Kennedy Center Honor in 2002, honored as a living landmark by the New York Landmarks Conser conservancy, boy, sometimes I can't speak, conservancy. <laughs> uh, please welcome Lisa Mordante, her mother, Cheetah Rivera. Cheetah Rivera, Lisa Mordante, say hello. Hello. <laughs> oh my gosh. By the way, can somebody teach me how to say conservancy? <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. I said it, but you have to learn how to say more denty. Oh, <laughs> more denty. Oh, okay. Not more, more denty. denty. More dante, more denty. All right. I, you know, it is. I, it's, it's when I got the veneers, they get in the way. It's really bad. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. How are you guys? You, I, I love that a caricature of you up on the wall behind you. Oh, this. Okay. Yeah. Well, this or this, this one. That one. You know what this is, Cheetah. Uh, this is my father. I know it is. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. Watch. Let's see. It, oh, it, it is so. It is. I, I, it just takes our breath away. It really does. Well, I have a, I have a special thing that I will show you as as we go on that I think you will get a kick out of. First of all, guys, thank you so much for doing this. It's so great to see you both. You both look unbelievable. Lisa, I haven't seen you. I haven't seen you in some time, but boy, you look so incredible. Long. And your mom. I saw Cheetah at uh, we did the hundred year anniversary, you know, at for, at St. Louis Muni Opera, and you there right. you were with with uh, uh, you know with uh, Tommy, and I was just I was just blown away. And do you remember we Cheetah we sat afterwards we went out and we and we went drinking with you and I and Tommy and my wife and Megan and we sat there and I got to see pictures of you with the Beatles. I got to see <laughs> pictures of you with like with Jerry Robbins, and I, I was just. I, to this minute, I just live for it. Live well, for it. Patrick, if you hang around long enough, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, it will happen if you just stay in there. <laughs> Speaking of which, how long have you been performing? Oh my God! <laughs> uh, like, okay. did, you, did you start it's as a kid, a little kid? My, my very first show was 1950. Um, well, eight was West Side. Se uh, seven. seven was yeah. West Side. So it was 1952, I think. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> that, I mean, that, do you think, do you think you've gotten it right yet? <laughs> no, I really don't. I think, I think every single day you have to, you have to really, you know, um, think about being 
ready right. and and ready and uh and you have to you know just be on point yeah you know because keep, keep moving forward keep moving forward as Walt yeah. disney said okay so <laughs> i want to i want to ask you about and i want you to tell this story so lisa your yeah. conception Yes. And, and construction took place on a little show called West Side Story. Am I right about that, Chief? Yes, that that's correct? correct. Oh, yeah. Okay. And 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 when you met Mr. Mordente, right? <laughs> no, correct. So tell me about, tell that story. How did how did that come to be? How, me or mom? Well, both of you. I, I, you okay. go, whoever wants to take start, it. You start. Okay. So, well, no, you start because you have to talk about what Jerry Robbins said you guys were not supposed to do in rehearsals. <laughs> and, and that's exactly what we did. Um, Jerry, who was assisted by um, Peter Gennaro at the right. time, um, mm. Jer we walk into rehearsals and Jerry Robbins says, okay, I, I, I want you guys to really dislike each other. The Jess and the Sharks. And, right. and you know, dancers. <laughs> I mean, we're just friendly and talking and, you know, and frightened. And, um, <laughs> and, and so he, he said, um, Sharks over here, Jess over here. Uh, sharks, you'll rehearse in the other room with Peter Gennaro. And Jess, you'll be with me. Now, I don't want you talking to each other. I don't, I, you you dislike each other. You don't talk to each other. You don't have lunch. You oh. don't do anything. You just don't do it. And we're kind of going, what? Oh, oh okay. We're going to learn how to act. <laughs> so we go into the other room and we start and then we come together and we look and I see this adorable guy. But he's a jet. Oh. <laughs> I'm not supposed. I'm not supposed oh. to see this guy, but all I can see is this guy who flies through the air, oh, just no. like I mean, he amazing. soars. He's the most amazing, and I can see that he is um, Jerry's favorite too. Oh. Yeah, uh, Jerry knows him. Well, not only did I get to know this guy quietly, <laughs> but. <laughs> But I married him and had a baby. Oh my so gosh! I, you know, I went. To, she, Lisa's the only shark jet. I think I am half jet, half shark. The only from the original. Well, what's so what's so incredible about that story is it's kind of life imitating art, and both. I mean, the story's yeah. about that. That's what the story's about. Uh, you know, yeah. you, know you know what I'm exactly. saying? You yes, know, I, I, it's it's a, it's like and and because Jerry sort of forbidden you to. to to associate with the Jets, it's like it's like it was being lived out, you know. Yeah, right. That's exactly so okay. So then you, you you Lisa, you're born, and was it during the course of the show? Or yeah, well, mom stayed in the show for until she was six months pregnant with me. Oh my gosh! So and the doctor and and um. So I was in the original West Side Story, if you really want to look at it that way. Absolutely. Right there, right? And I'm telling you, and you know about this, there is, it, osmosis is for real, because I feel this music in a different way. There's certain things that I'll get emotional, and it's like, why am I getting emotional? They're supposed to be happy. Mom says, oh, I was in the wings, and I used to cry. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I felt that show, but I was in there for six months, and the doctor, her doctor, came to see the show at six months pregnant. And he was so excited. And he sees it and he comes backstage and says, Get out. <laughs> Get out of the show as soon as he was so panicked that he could not believe what I was going through. But at the same time, yeah. I was so in shape. That show oh kept me, kept yeah. my body in shape. I was tight. I, I mean, was like this. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she was, she was like this. But, but Lisa, yeah. the moment, the same day, right. the moment I had my last performance, this the curtain came down and Lisa went. Here we are. Oh, oh. I'm, I'm, here I come. 
I can find it. And I became Patrick. I became pregnant. Yeah. Oh that my God. same day, my stomach, Lisa, just relaxed. And, my, and I look like I had a little more than dinner. Yeah. You well, know. you know, you know, I, I don't know if you guys know this. I mean, same situation for me. I was conceived and constructed on the set of The Music Man. And my mother, uh-huh. who, who became pregnant with me three months into filming, took her director, uh, Morton DaCosta, and said, look, this is my problem. And they said, surely you can't tell anyone. They'll fire you. Warner Brothers will fire you. So they didn't tell anyone. And my and the wardrobe people started to, you know, put other pieces of garment on her and, oh, and they cinched the corset, which is why my head is completely <laughs> like this. So, so we go and it comes time to, you know, do the famous footbridge scene and they do, singing till there was you Robert Preston doesn't know they go for the big Hollywood kiss and I kick him and he stops and goes, what the heck was that? Stop so, it. That's oh bad. my God. That's amazing. So, and, you know, Lisa, one of the things that I, I mean, you and I could probably talk for a lifetime about what it is growing up, what it is having the mom of, what it, what it is going into the business yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm sure we have very, uh, we so can do a class on that. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I want to show, I want to show a quick cl- a clip um, uh, from, from West Side. It's not from West Side, but it is very familiar in terms of what you do. Cheetah from West Side Story. Cheetah Rivera. Okay. Hundreds of people in each room. Well, you know that that was Leland Schwanty, the blonde, and the blonde guy, and uh, Frank DeSalle. Wow! And um, it was guy. choreographed. I believe that Ron was Field. Co- yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. Ron Field choreographed that. Sure. And it was uh, it was America, and wow. I always I always loved it. I always thought, you know, that that was a, a great piece of uh, choreography. Because the boys were mess showing mess off too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Original, yeah. It's, yeah. It, it, it's you know, and I look the I and I even I remember talking to you about this that night that we that we had drinks and hung out. Working with Jerry, how was how was that? How was that? Well, it was you know, dancers get into rehearsal mm. and they get become they become very serious and they want to please the choreographer, director, or whatever. And Jerry was, he had seven versions of one thing. Mm. So he would turn it around. So he would say, give me four bars of uh, the second version and then stick in a couple of bars of the first version. So you had to figure it out. And so it kept your brain really moving and mm-hmm. your heart really. <laughs> and um we want we we were right on course uh we were constantly um thinking and working very very hard it was he did uh, i was uh, too right mom like he explained like there was stuff going on in the news about mm-hmm. oh yeah you know uh Riots between Puerto oh, Rico. Right. There was stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, I mean, we had a, 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 a billboard or something. Yeah, you know, yeah. on the billboard. Of the like a, temp- a template of what was going on? Exactly. Right, right. And he would say, this is your life. Mm. And we would discuss certain things before we went into it. But yeah. um, it was it was extremely exciting when we did what he wanted us to, to do. do. When yeah. he was satisfied, it mm-hmm. just... And and we got so much out of it because we understood we were set home every day with 
uh, problems that we had to solve ourselves. We had to mm. make up our life stories. Mm. I mean, if he came in and said, so do you have any brothers and sisters? <laughs> and we'd have to think, Have do we have? Yes, we do. What are their names? <laughs> and so it we- In terms of the character, right? Is that what you're Absolutely. Oh, wow. Absolutely. It was really, really thrilling. So we never thought of ourselves only as dancers, um, but dancers mm -hmm. will always be dancers. I mean, they they <laughs> just are nice. that way. Yeah. Well, you, know, you, always... you, you clearly passed on the dancing gene and your father, Lisa, to you, Lisa. Oh, yes. So Lisa, your Broadway debut is a show called Platinum, correct? Yes. That was your first. That was yeah. your first show. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to show a little clip of this, and then you're going to tell me what oh. this all is. This oh, is wow. this is Lisa Mordante from Platinum. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. My God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy smokes. I want that big boa thing. Where is that? Oh. That is the cool. First of all, those costumes are well, wait a minute. The costumes were done by Bob Mackey. Of course. So my first experience in costumes. I, I oh my God. But when we did this, for some I think it was either I think it was the day we opened when we did that. And there was something going, he had me in this corset with these uh, streamlined uh, pants and boots that came over my knee and like Pirates of Penzance boots, sure. only five inch heels. And that coat, that boa coat, I think it was ostrich, but that <laughs> boa coat and it, 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 they were amazing. But that day, for some reason, they were doing stuff on my costume and he put me in those pants and that top, and I'm like, no, because that was not an outfit. Oh Only the God. boa. The boa is fabulous. Oh, it's fantastic. So, and and what? So, what is platinum about? Platinum was well. First of all, I do have to say, and this is such a cliche, but it was so ahead of its time. It was about a movie star, an old time MGM movie star who was Alexis Smith. Uh -huh, sure. And yes, yeah, she was amazing. And she wanted to have a comeback in mm. the business. So uh, her agent says, the only way you have to come back is through the music industry and we'll go and we'll make a record and you'll, you know, sing songs. And, and she's like, I can't go into that business. And she tries to do it and comes into our world. So, mm. And this was right around the time when the band Kiss was starting to maybe quiet down a little bit and Cindy Lauper and Madonna were just coming up. Oh, wow. So my character was like a mixture of those two and she tough and raw and, and Richard Cox played kind of like a old time Kiss star but needed work mm. so and then he meets alexis falls in love with her because all he ever did was watch her movies when they were on tour but he's my boyfriend in the show so oh. there was all this stuff going on the sets were fabulous we had a we had a, a jacuzzi on set that Rick, richard actually got in oh. <laughs> and it was a recording studio so over the orchestra pit was actually one of the guys uh behind you know doing all the lights and the sound and it was an extraordinary production and then alexis and i got to go at each other which was incredible oh that's great 
Yeah, that's it was a really, it was, I would say maybe it was like 10 years or so before it's time. You could do it now and it would still kind of work, I think. I loved it. It, I, it was a good show. Yeah. But, oh, it. I love doing it. We, we might have to, bring, we might have to uh, reconceive it here at Studio 10. Who knows? Um, <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> well, I, I clearly remember coming to see the show and I was a nervous wreck. Of course. I just, I wanted so badly for her to just be, and I had really never seen her. So I scooted in <laughs> and I sat down and I went like this. Yeah. <laughs> because everybody's looking, you know, and it's, a, nor them, and it's a normal mother reaction. All, <laughs> you know? right. all of a sudden I went, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and then I totally relaxed because I knew she knew exactly where she was mm -hmm. and what she was doing. I was and shot out of a cannon. It was, it was that's, great. That's it was, a cheetah. That's a great feeling too, right? I oh mean, my God. Not only you, you're because you're seeing, yes, you're seeing a really great performer, but you're seeing your daughter. You're seeing your right. child. Yeah, and you know, it's it's like layered because you're you're nervous because <laughs> you know and you want and you can see, and when you you hope and pray to God that she's got the magic mm -hmm. yeah. that you yeah. have them and you both and you do you know <laughs> yeah. and when you, oh it's 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 triple thrilling no i i agree i'm i'm going through it now sort of generational with my own son who's oh got a the reason i'm here in tennessee is i my my younger son got a record deal and a publishing deal and i i drove him here and i discovered tennessee and just fell in love with it yeah. but it's that feeling of like and he's really a prodigy. Like he got all the genetic I got the stuff. really good. Yeah. And you go, wow. You know, you, you see, you, you look at them and you see, man, you're so good. Yeah. And, and, and you, and yeah, the pride and the love. And oh yeah. It's, it's huge. It's su such a gift, such a gift. So uh, I wanna, first of all, where are you guys right now? Are you in New York? We're in Rockland County up, um, you know, uh, uh, yeah, like a half hour outside of the city over um, the George Washington Bridge. Near Nyack. Right. So, so give me the, how's it been? How are you guys? How's it been going? What's going? We yeah. Sitting and looking and mm -hmm. way too much time to ponder <laughs> things. Yeah. Way too much information on television. Yep. Uh, you know, way too much being able to see yourself in the mirror. You know, I mean, it, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's, I've never felt anything like this before. And you really try to, and then of course you're so, oh, I've got a tickle in my throat. Oh my God. Yes. Oh yeah. You know, so it, it's, it's extraordinarily mundane what you, what you feel. Mm -hmm. it, I, I, it's hard to explain. But it's it's almost like the silence is deafening. Yep, you know? know, and you know it's it's so different. I've had many people, uh, my friends on the show, Norm Lewis, who's single, and uh, Norm. Know, Jason Danielly. They all, and I know you know them, Cheetah, all of them too. Uh, they, but they're all single in New York City, and it's been a very different experience for them. Yeah. For like, I mean, it's 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 horrific. It, that you know what happened with with New York and having to be alone in your apartment Crazy, yeah. all the time. Yeah, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. I. So, what do you think? When do you think we, we? What is New York like now? Has it gotten any better? Well, we have not gone into the city at all. No, not at all. Oh. Yesterday was the first day <laughs> yeah. that we had dinner out in a restaurant outside wow. of the. Restaurant. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. The back. Because uh, we've seen too many people oh my God. foolishly going yeah. without masks, yep. you know, not caring about each other. Mm -hmm. And I've had my brother and his partner up here, uh, and 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 that on was Labor where, Day weekend. Yeah, yeah. And that was lovely. I mean, I I got one look at at, at both of them, and I started <laughs> to cry, mm -hmm. you know, because I was so happy. To see them, it's yeah. ridiculous. You know, it's and ridiculous. I'm, I'm, and I love Halloween, and I'm so looking forward to because I love ghosts and Franken and scaring it, people. <laughs> sca <laughs> she gave people to scare me when I was little. Oh yeah, I love that kind of abuse. I love it. <laughs> oh, it and it is abuse. Believe me. I've got 
Well, I could pick up oh, a man. couple of skeletons. <laughs> oh boy. But I, you know, I'm hoping the kids, I don't think the kids will be able to come around, you know? Well, they don't come around as much anyway, right? Yeah. And not quite as much. Yeah. But you really have to kind of think of doing it more for yourself in a way. So it looks that way and it feels mm -hmm. that way. And if the kids come for the candy, then okay. But this is my, oh my God, this is my favorite time of year. This mm -hmm. and Christmas, I'm the Christmas queen. Yeah, me too. So, I, I, oh I, my and, God. And they, I was here last year because I was sort of getting an overview of the company. I got, I came right during uh, Halloween. And I can't tell you, because, you know, I live in Franklin and Franklin is like Bedford Falls and it's a wonderful life. It is oh absolutely yeah. so precious. And and the kids were out everywhere going to trick or treating, incredible costumes. Yeah. It was really beautiful. So, you know, we pray. Cheetah, tell me something. How has Broadway changed mm -hmm. in the last 50 years? <laughs> wow. Uh, tremendously. Um, I find... Um, I, I want to hear more stories. I want to see larger casts. Mm -hmm. um, we, I was talking to Patrick Pacheco uh, today, who's a, a writer, and uh, he's writing my a, a book. That, and, and we were talking about Bajor with Nancy Dussault and um, um, Herschel Bernardi. Herschel Bernardi and Herbie Edelman and and he, and he went down mm. the list of of cast members and it was huge yeah. it was i mean i remember when it was eight and eight dancers mm -hmm. uh, uh, and eight and eight singers and uh, oklahoma i mean they used to come <laughs> straight down front on the knee dancers uh, up on the shoulder i mean the casts were huge well, the casts are not huge anymore. And people have microphones. They don't project. Project. Hit the back people, wall. Mm -hmm. And they don't speak. Mm -mm. You know, I, I constantly say to Lisa, what did she say? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's yeah, true. I, I say the same thing. What did they say? The, the presence yeah. is not. Oh, it's not the same. It, 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 you know, so I find it quite when, different. Like his dad. Oh. When your father, now, <laughs> I hope I didn't interrupt that because no, no, that was good stuff. Right. Your dad, oh, wow. for me, when I was little, Superman. Now, how long ago was that, right? Yeah, no. Now, yeah. I remember like it was yesterday, my skin just went up, sitting in the audience, <laughs> and your father hit the stage, and I, it lit up. Could, I couldn't believe, I just remember feeling that I was seeing something so amazingly special. It was him and then, of course, Superman that went across the stage. Bob, but Bob, Bob I Holiday. <laughs> what was his name? Bob Holiday. Oh, bless his And heart. you know who else was in that show was Linda Lavin. It gave her her start. Oh, that's, she, right. that's right. She did uh, You've Lowest Got name. Possibilities. Ba -ba. That was her tune. That's, that's mm -hmm. right. That's yeah. I cannot tell you how that affected me. Because I saw, I've seen a lot of stuff. So I grew up in the orchestra pit. So yeah, I've seen some too. really good stuff. But your father affected me so. And I just fell in love with him. And mom, we went backstage afterwards. And I was like, oh, oh my God. And, and then when I moved to LA to start doing television, he lived like right by where I moved into. And I would see him at Joe Allen's and stuff. And he was precious. He just had this presence yeah. that mom was talking a about. A light. He came that you he came have. with his own lighting designer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, brought, he brought his own lighting designer with him. Uh, it's true. <laughs> I was just blown away. So and, he I, looked, and he looked at, and he would look at both of you and go, you're the woman for the man who has everything. Oh, oh. my I, um, Where yeah. was he looking all the time when uh, those blue eyes used to It was go, just, it was, well, he, he had an, he had an incredible ability to be a cad and yet you loved him in spite of it. He could play it, you know? Absolutely. And That's you know, what I saw. And you know, I'll, I'll say something else, Cheetah. I mean, with your career being as remarkable as any, as anybody could ever imagine, 
they don't today in like what I've seen in the last 50 years, 60 years, is that it used to be that you could become a star like my father, like yourself, like, you know, Carol Channing, like Dorothy Loudon, like, like Mary Martin from the theater. That doesn't happen. No, 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 it no. just doesn't, you can't, it, it just, they, and I, is it because that they don't write shows? Because they've written shows for you many, many times. Oh yeah. But I, I don't think the writing is as, as uh, helpful in, in making people. And, also, you can see anything on television. Right. And um, I think theater is far more tasteful. You know, uh, you, you, you can get more involved in two and a half hours or two hours and 15 minutes with a story, but you must be patient mm -hmm. and you must oh, listen. Patience. You must listen, you must see, and you must respond. Yeah. And people are lazy. I yeah. I think people are too are much lazy. of that clicking with the thing and not Sorry. yeah not, you can not get out of it. Two hours. Get out of it. They don't have yeah. the patience, and you need patience for the theater. You need patience for life. Yeah. You need patience to have a relationship with somebody else, and yeah. so that's why I love the theater because you've got to produce. That's it's right. got to come up, and it's got to come out. Here, 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 here. Okay, so you 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 have the incredible um, chance to work with Jerry Robbins. What was the difference working with Bob Fosse? Uh, the the man. It was uh, it was uh, uh, the the gift that they had, what they wanted to say, and how they wanted to say it. Bob Fosse uh, was a fabulous dancer. Mm. I mean, he you know he he could he could jazz and and he, but his ballet was not like Jerry's, right? You know, but and and he had a wonderful darkness about him that um, eventually came out with that little, you know, the fingers and yeah, yeah and yeah. Um, and and he had a wonderful sense of humor. Um, it was like night and day. Oh wow! So, <laughs> it was both like two, night both day. geniuses, both of them. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. Oh, what about Jack Cole? Oh, well, I'm a genius. Know. Yeah. I mean, there's the list. Yeah. No, you, you got, you got the cream of the crop in terms yeah, of getting to work with. And yeah. um, I want to show a little, uh, a little clip from a pretty great movie called Sweet Charity with you. Aww. So it's Cheetah Rivera from Sweet Charity. I'm not going to spend the next 40 years of my life in the Fandango ballroom. I am not going to become the world's first little old gray hair taxi dancer. I am getting out. Out. What a nice word. There's got to be something better than this. There's got to be something better to do. And when I find me something better to do, I'm going to get up, I'm going to get out, I'm going to get up, get out and do it. Yeah. I'm going to get up, I'm going to get up, I'm going to get up, get up, live it! Wow, I, I mean, I could I could show it all. It is absolutely phenomenal. That I mean, that choreography and the way you guys yeah. do it, it. If if that if that opened today, people would still go, "Oh my gosh!" Absolutely. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh my gosh! Absolutely, and 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 when uh, Shirley was absolutely wonderful in that film. You look at Gwen. Gwen came from another world. <laughs> oh, well. She came, you know, she was. She uh, was with Bob every yes. day. <laughs> you know? Absolutely. You know? and, and so she was uh, magnificent. And, but Shirley, when Shirley got in between Paula Kelly and myself, she knew she had to do it. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, oh, and she put it out there and we were so proud of her. So I was going to say, did she, she must have gone into, I, I mean, I, I know that she was a musical performer and all this, but she still had to go into serious like training to, to get ready for that film, I would think. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Gwen. And, and yeah. Gwen, Gwen came in and helped a, a lot with that film. Oh, wow. Bob, Bobby's assistant. Uh, she was amazing. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. 
Have yeah. the two of you danced together? Yeah, we we have. What we what have we done? Well, I, I remember what song did we sing? Uh, the very first time you sang with me, um, it was a Merv Griffin. It show was like I think it was Merv. Yes, it was the Merv Griffin show. And I was really nervous because this was like the very first time she I had hadn't done really anything. done anything. Yeah, and and so I said to her, "Now, Lisa, when you get out there, just keep your head high and get and get the voice out and make sure they hear." every single word and don't worry everything will be fine and so lisa started and lisa went wah and i went holy <laughs> and i i knew that she was perfectly fine without me and i stepped back i literally stepped back and i really laughed because yeah, you said to me I, I, what was it are you okay honey or don't be scared, honey. And I went, I'm not. <laughs> and she said that she went, oh, okay. That's great. <laughs> Isn't that great? Fear oh. comes later. Okay, so we play a little game on this show. And uh, and it trust me, it's, there's no good, uh, there's no fail or or, or, or yeah. we play a little game. It's called Remember the Lyric. Oh, God. And I will start, I will start. Because I get to sing with I get to sing with the two of you, which is amazing. I will start and I'll point to you guys, and you can take a lyric, Lisa, or <laughs> Cheetah, you can take a lyric. But try this is from a show that you did. This is a song oh, okay. you've sung many times. I think okay. both of you sang it. But let's see. Let me just see if I can get a note. I think this is the note. Okay. And by the way, I think I know the melody. It's good. Isn't it grand? Isn't it great? Isn't it swell? Isn't it fun? Isn't it nowadays? There's men everywhere, jazz, everywhere, booze, everywhere. Life everywhere, joy everywhere. Nowadays. Yo, I got to do it. Oh, you guys are awesome. I got to sing nowadays with the two of you. I'm done. I can I can retire. Thank you very much. Check, please. Oh, that's awesome. You guys. Oh, Patrick, cool. This has been so wonderful. Yeah. Oh, guys, I for me, for me. Don't, now, did you did I hear a story? Did you guys do? Did you guys do it like your acts to it? Because I've done that with my mother too. I where I performed. Our oh yeah, we did yeah. At, uh, below below fifty four. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. And mom was doing her act, and uh, she asked me to come in and do some songs with her. And I thought, what? And to do some stuff that myself. Fabulous. And that great? was another COVID horror because <laughs> we did fifty four, and then I did bird. Was it no Susie Mosier's show um, that is uh, at Birdland? Okay, movie, right? yeah, right. with Jim Caruso, and I did uh, some new material, and it was so much fun. And I went, you know what? I'm gonna get back and do this again. I'm gonna start COVID. Wow. I'm like, uh, but, but. <laughs> Yeah. So you know th that was re that really kind of sucked. But that, but I, I yeah, that sucked. Yeah, and it still does. <laughs> but, <laughs> That's <laughs> great. I, I called her up, and she put that top hat on. Oh, we did. And the nowadays. fingers were separated, and 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 she used the cane, and I realized it was sort of like only better. Um, when I when I dreamt of being with Gwen, and then one day I realized while I was in the drum in Chicago, in the in the, the set, the, the drum set, set yeah. yeah, that I was on stage with Gwen. When I saw Lisa with the hat and the cane, oh. and it was just a moment that you want to stop and you want to go. Oh, this is so delicious! This is it just was delicious. what a what it's a perfect. wonderful time. I, I I can't tell you the parallels. Like I've been saying, you know. I know. Cheetah, my mother. When we did Forty Second Street together on Broadway, I came out. I had my hair done. I had this little sort of '30s flip piece that they added, and I was in a three-piece uh, pinstripe suit. I came out, 
And I literally patented the role after my dad and she, it took her breath away. Yeah, 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 she yeah. couldn't, you know, and it's those moments that yeah, you, yeah. we share. And, yeah. and Lisa, I wanted to ask you about that. Uh -huh. What's it like growing up with your it mom? It was, I have to tell you, it was, and still is, but growing up was an extraordinary ride <laughs> because <laughs> I was, right? I mm. was literally, I watched like, Bob Fosse create Chicago. So I was in the middle of these amazing productions and cast members and mom would take me and teach me just by being there. All, all this information that I had no idea was not going to be as strong, mm. strongly taught anymore, you know, and, um, and sitting in those orchestra pits <laughs> and seeing Jerry Robbins' original choreography. And then, because we, I would go on the road with mom, then it, it was Sweet Charity. And if she'd say, oh, do you want to see the show again tonight? You know, uh, Herschel Barnardi's next door. He's doing Fiddler. So do you want to go over there? And I'm like, okay. And I'd sit and I'd watch Jerry Robbins. <laughs> and so I have these incredible memories of the creativity and amazing people that would come over to the house and mom would play music. Yeah. Graciela Danielle would dance mm -hmm. in the living room and Alan Jack. Oh, great people. I had yeah. an amazing childhood growing up with that. I never felt people would say, Oh, was it hard? You know, your mm -hmm. mom. No, it wasn't because she set it up so well, you know, and, and I, again, parallel and ditto everything you're saying. I totally understand it from a yeah. physical, emotional level, having those people in your home and watching that incredible creativity and the genius of their talent. And, and around. Yeah. I mean, I had the exact same experience, so I understand. You know, and they're just people. That's you right. Know, yeah. you, you know them as people. Yeah. You know, and they're... They're not anything different from anyone else. They've just studied hard and been ready and have something to say. And they had stuff. And share it with you. That's they right. They share it with you. Yeah. I met Bob Fosse in New York when I first went there. And, what, and he told me something that I had never known, which is that he roomed with my father. And I said, oh, no. <laughs> I said, I, I, I don't want to hear any of these. No, stories. no, something you don't want to hear. <laughs> well, I want to show you. I want to show you both a clip. I think, Cheetah. I don't know if you'll remember this. And I had to look through the archival things. Uh -huh. So first, I'll tell you who's in this clip. Charles Strauss is in this clip. Carol Burnett is in this clip. Barbie Benton is in this clip. Hugh Hefner is in this clip. Jack Cassidy is in this clip. But Cheetah Rivera steals <laughs> this clip. Watch. Oh my God. The are always sitting around waiting for the reviews to come in on it. Oh, don't talk about night. opening nights. <laughs> Charlie is really a breath of spring on opening nights. Saturday night was what we call slave market night. All these single girls would stand on one side of this huge hall <laughs> with a wonderful Casa Loma Orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd stand on the other and they'd say, now. And we'd all run. <laughs> I always ended up with the band leader. I don't know. <laughs> but that's another story. <laughs> well, you know, there is a great song that Charles and, and, and Lee wrote from Bye Bye Birdie. But, but uh, he didn't write it for me. Why didn't no. you write it for me, Charles? People would have talked. You never sing it. Sing it, sing it. Oh, oh, sing it. 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 Put on a happy face. Brush off the clouds and cheer up. I said, put on a happy face. Take off that gloomy mask of tragedy. It's not your style. You'll look so good that you'll be glad you decided to smile. <laughs> you got a pleasant outlook. Take off that no chin.
Oh, isn't that crazy? <laughs> isn't that, that what is that funny looking woman? <laughs> 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 Oh, I look like I look like an ugly Lena Horn. <laughs> I found this. I have. There's a gentleman that that his name is Mark Wyckoff. He's an incredible guy, and he's literally like has the Cassidy Museum of archival footage. Wow. And he said to me, he goes, "I have a clip of your dad with Cheetah on Playboy After Dark." And I went, "Oh my gosh, you got to give that to me." Oh, so I have it. So awesome. I've never ever ever seen that that is so much fun oh that my god really cool it was a it was like a broadway thing because you see carol sitting there and there's charles strauss yeah. you know and i was like there you go so anyway and i thought i thought it would it would leave a smiling face on all of oh, us you, <laughs> you guys are both remarkable Thank you so much, what so much for, for doing this for us and for Studio 10. And, and uh, it is a, and when I, and I will call you guys, I will call you guys. I say, can you just come and do me another favor and come and yes, help us? Absolutely. Out? <laughs> we'll be there. We'll be there and, for and sure. The best of luck. Uh, Tennessee is a beautiful state. And, you. Uh, you know, and I wish you the very, very yeah. best. Thank but they're you. learning from the good stuff, yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's yeah. what, that's what we that's what we were that's what we're putting forth, and uh, and it's an incredible company. And you're right, it is an incredible state, an incredible, incredible county and city. Uh, I adore you both. I can't wait to see us at better times when yes. we can all get together and do all that good stuff. Take care of yourselves. You stay too, healthy. Bro. You're Bye. both so so beautiful. Thank Aww. you for doing this. They love you. Bye. Love you. Bye bye. <laughs> oh. I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. I've I've come to heaven. I've come to heaven. Uh, that's our show for tonight. I am so honored to have been here with with Lisa and with Cheetah and with Casey. Thank you for being here too, Casey, and and being a part. Uh, next week we have uh, Miss Debbie Gibson on. Debbie and I did um, uh, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dream Co together, and we went through four months where we didn't talk to each other. We're going to talk about that. Uh, again, we survive on, on the theater and donations. And right now we, we're not producing the theater. So please, at the bottom of your screen, you'll see the donate button. Push it, push it, push it, and be a part of Studio 10. You guys are incredible. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all the questions. And I usually leave with a goodbye song, but I'm going to say, put on a happy face. Good night, everyone.